everyone i am going to make cakes today and i'm trying to use these thermal plastic sticks here again i found mine on aliexpress but i'm pretty sure you can find them elsewhere so that is just a plastic stick that you put into boiling water so be careful with your fingers leave it for five ten minutes and it's getting soft and you can mold it so i'm just putting that into this a tin mold of a small cake that I had lying around. This cake will actually be quite small in one to one. I think it's around 20 centimeters in the diameters. So it's not that big of a cake, but I am doing both of these. And I found these on a homepage somewhere. This is a really, really long time ago I got those. Then when everything has cooled down, I am going to take this piece out of there and I have a very nice impression of the cake. I took some of my baby powder here and popped it into my hand because the opening of this one is really bad. So I'm just putting it in my hand and I'm uh, squishing these, these um, cakes into the baby powder and then I am using a dry brush to brush the excess off. I just want it to be non-sticky for making a mold of the cake that I can use for making cakes in. I actually didn't know if this would work but uh, here we go. I took my Silicon that is a mold putty with a ratio to one to one and you take a white piece and a blue piece and you mix it together to get a uniform color of this bluish color and then you just mold it around the shape that you want to have a mold from you can use some other kinds of mold putties i think that's all up to you what you have and what you like to use but this was a trial and error and i actually think this went really really good so I'm doing the same thing with the other one right here. They have been hardening for around an hour now or maybe a little more. Uh, just make sure that it is all hardened before you try demolding it. I kind of expected the two things to uh, kind of uh, fuse together but it actually went really really nice and I have some cool molds here for cakes. I rolled some dough colored clay out on my pasta machine in the thinnest setting that I have and I'm carefully really really carefully pushing that down into the mold and trying to make sure that I don't have too many places where it is overlaying. So just take your time with this and just really work it in there if you want to make this cake. I used a small scissor to cut off excess clay inside of the mold here and I carefully take these pieces out. And then I am just going to shape this inside really really nicely and cut off excess around the opening of the little mold here. I did the same thing to the other mold and then I let them rest for a few hours so the clay could harden a bit again. Now I am taking some rose colored clay and I'm filling up the rest of the mold with this clay just making sure that everything fits nicely into this little mold and I'm squeezing it in there so it's surely and tightly are filled up to the edge. I'm doing this on both of these molds. After filling both of these molds, I left them standing to rest 
for a few days actually before I continued on this one. I carefully, carefully take these cakes out of the mold. Uh, be really careful about that. If it hasn't been standing for long enough, you will dent them. But if it has been cooling down for a few days, then you would be able to take them out in the right shape. Now I am just giving them some soft pastel here, a little light brown color to make them more real. Um, so first the light brown, then I will go to this um, little darker brown and then I work my way up the brown here. When I am happy with the colors of my cakes, I am going to take a slice of this out, just carefully slicing down into the middle of the cake. Really small slices here. And then I'm using a needle tool and I'm just going to scratch the inside of the cake and the two cake pieces. I'm taking my time with this, but I will skip this so you don't have to look at it all the way through. Then I am taking some red clay here and I'm just scratching tiny tiny small pieces of it and I'm placing these tiny small pieces here and there in the cake and on the cake slice to look like some strawberry fillings or something like that. I'm doing this on both of my cakes so that they both have the feelings of some kind of strawberry things inside there. So here are my cakes all baked and now I can just decorate them if I want to or you can use them like they are. I got this Modena a paste that is a air dry clay and you need to put some color in there because it is kind of milky translucent when it's all air dried. Uh, so I'm just mixing it here with some white um, paint that I have um, I like to use and mix it really really good before you use it. Then I drop it on my cake and I'm just arranging it like I feel like it's going on this little cake or it would have been going on it. And I'm again taking my time with this. I have seen several people on the internet using this Modena paste. And I finally found it on AliExpress, so I had to try it out. And I'm doing that with this cake. And I am also making the drips here on the small cake slices. Now it needs to stand and dry, because this is a air dry clay. I left it for a few hours and came back to these small cakes. And they're actually really really cute. I think this is working pretty good. Using my Fimo liquid glaze to glaze all the parts here on the outside and that's all there is for these cakes. The paste worked perfectly and I really love that I didn't have to bake it just for the icing on my cake. So here we are. I like the result of these. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.